Hello and welcome to the 26th video on the PHP e-commerce series. My name is Curtis and this is Free Skills. Well, one thing that I want to do differently on my channel is when we're building these full projects, I leave my mistakes in most of the time so that we can uh, learn together and grow together. And I think a lot of times when when I was when I I am still learning, by the way, but but when I was first learning, I would watch a lot of videos and the mistakes were edited out and it was discouraging to me because I thought maybe I was the only one having these issues and I wasn't able to learn some of the uh, fundamental um, skills of learning to fix mistakes and finding those mistakes in the code and so I, I wanted to do a special e uh, episode and I'm gonna call this bug squashing and just as I don't generally like to squash bugs. In fact, I don't kill bugs in my own house. I usually catch them and take them out if my wife makes me. Otherwise, I just let them live here with us. I mean, I just don't want to kill anything. But when it comes to programming, I do want to squash all the bugs. And I found three. Um, and two of them really aren't bugs, but they're improvements. And it's going to be really quick to go through this. The first bug, and the most crucial bug, is here on the product page. If I decide that I want to change the price, of these high heels to $89.99 um, and I don't want to change the image well we have a bug if we go to the admin area in the products and if I click edit in high heels and I change the price to $89.99 and hit edit product and go back to the front end of the page and refresh and you can see my image disappears and if I go back now and I go back to edit um, you'll see that there's no image here and you might be thinking like I am well what the heck um, it shouldn't it shouldn't get rid of my image I, I didn't update that I didn't delete it or anything so why is my image gone and in fact if you look in your files that image still exists um, in your files the problem is is that this image if I find here's my high heels right here you can see that here's the path to my image and if I refresh the page and I go back to high heels it's gone the 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 image path is actually gone and so that cues me to look at the update uh, SQL um, because that's where when I edit a when I edit uh, a product it's being edited with the update SQL statement so let's jump over to our code and in the PHP or the products.php we have our edit um, function see if it's set get edit so I know to start looking in here because this is when it happens now um, if I go down here to the bottom the first thing I would check is I would check in this uh, if it's set get edit look at this insert SQL and if everything in this in this uh, SQL statement looks correct um, which it does uh, then the problem doesn't lie here and so then here's this image and I and look at this variable DB path so let's let's trace back that DB path and and one is the one way I can do that is I'm going to hit control F in this file and I'm just going to um, search DB path okay and you can see that there's six results on my page for that so let's just go through and find all of those six so here I have a variable db path setting um, that's just set to an empty string so I'm gonna keep that in mind that's on line 16 the next one is on line 53 db path is equal to saved image so what is saved image well saved image looks like it's right here right above here and that is the product image from the database so that's correct so setting the DB to the saved image, that sounds like what we want to do. Let's go to the next one. So it looks like here in this, if if post is set, we're setting DB image, or I mean, sorry, DB path equal to a blank string again on line 69. And then on line 92, if not empty files, then we're setting DB path to the path of the upload which looks correct and let's see 
5 is the insert SQL and 6 is the uh, update SQL. So the problem at the top of the page, we're defining our variable because we don't want any undefined variables. That's fine. That's not our problem. But if you look down here to after we're setting this DB path to the saved image, we're resetting it right here to a blank string. That's why when it's updating down here, because remember PHP, uh, it executes from the top down. So it's setting DB path here equal to the saved image, and then when it gets down here, it's setting it to a blank string. And so when it updates the database down here in the SQL statement, it's updating image to a blank string. So that's the problem. So let's go ahead right here, this DB path. Um, on line six, on minus line 69. I don't know what it is for yours, depending on how you organize your code. But I'm just going to delete that little piece there. Okay. The other thing that I notice here is right down here, this move uploaded file. Now I really only want that move uploaded file function to run if there has been um, a file, if we're uploading a file. So really I want to wrap that in an if statement. Just this may prevent future bugs. Um, so what I want to check here is if is set, or actually let's do if not empty. And we're gonna say uh, dollar underscore files. Okay, so if that super global of dollar underscore files is if it is not empty, then we're going to do move uploaded file. If it's empty, there's no reason to move the uploaded file because they haven't uploaded a file. So that if statement there should take care of, you know, it'll at least keep this line of code from trying to run every single time we're um, updating the database. So let's go ahead and save that out. And let's go back to our page now. And now let's just go ahead and add back in our high heel shoes. All right. So if I refresh the front end of the page, they're back. And if I look in my database and refresh um, the high heels, did I pass them? Yeah. You can see I have this path. So let's let's go ahead and test and see if we have the same issue. If I go back to edit now, and I want to edit this back to um, 99.99 and hit edit product. If I refresh the page now nothing happens and indeed if I go back to edit again you can see it's still there and it will only get rid of this image if I click delete image um, and let's just make sure that's still working so I'm gonna click delete image and then choose a file and I'm gonna add that back and hit edit product and we'll refresh the page and we still have the high heels the other thing I want to check when you're doing bug fixes, it's a good idea to check other functionality of the page to make sure you haven't broken anything. So one thing I want to check is I want to add a new product and just make sure that everything's still working with adding a new product. So I'm going to add something in the men category here. I'm going to add um, these pants here. And I'm just going to call these Levi's jeans. For brand, I'm going to choose uh, Levi's, put that in men, pants. For price, I'm going to put $45.99. Oops. $45.99. All right. So, next, just add some sizes here, and I'm just going to put some uh, random sizes. And I know that these sizes may or may not line up for you and your country. I don't really know how that works everywhere. I know it's different for men and women. I don't know what, can I be honest? I don't know why I chose, well, I know why I chose a clothing store. But I, it was a bad decision because I don't know anything about fashion or clothes or anything like that really. I, I'm not that kind of a person. And honestly, you know, I chose this and it's called Shanta's Boutique because my sister's name is Shanta. And I started this whole course uh, to teach her and, and her fiance um, how to program so they can go on a different career path. And I just decided, well, I'll just go ahead and make this available to everyone else online as I do it. So that's it. I mean, that's the story of how I got started with this. And um, she likes clothes and she has a lot of fashion sense. 
And um, I, for some reason, thought it'd be fun to build this with her, so that's why I'm building it. And sorry if it's not that interesting, but if you guys have ideas for projects that you want to see in the future, um, please let me know. I've been thinking about some things and um, I haven't quite decided on anything. I thought it'd be cool to do some sort of social media site or maybe a blog site or something. I don't know. You guys let me know what you want to learn next after we finish this clothing uh, series up and uh, perhaps I will get started on planning that. So, let's see. Man, I can't type, guys. That's it. So, let's just add the product. So, here's the Levi's jeans. Let's click it. So, the jeans are there, so that's all good. So, we're good to go. Um, sometimes when you fix one bug, it, it breaks other things, so that's why it's a good idea to go back and test things. Um, I'm going to leave that as not a feature. Well, we might as well feature it. Why not? It'll make our page look funny but because we have an uneven amount with this one down here. So, yeah, I'm just going to turn that back off. There we go. Okay. But I can still get to it by going to men, pants, right? So, all right, so here's the deal. Um, here's the other thing I wanted to show you. If I click on these shoes, see how small that picture is? We can make this look a lot better really quickly. And if we just go to our go to our project and go to CSS, oops, CSS, and then main CSS, then what we're going to do is just look for, let's see, let's look for that in the detail modals. Uh, this is the modal that's created with the product. And so I can see where my image is at. And so right here, this product image, I can see that I have um, a class of details right here. So we're going to find details in the main CSS. So I'm going to scroll down until I find that class of details. Let's see, where are you at? All right, an image detail with a class of details, and this width is set at 33%. And actually, let's just set that width to 90% and save that. You may have to uh, clear your cache for this to work, but if you refresh now and I open the modal back up, you see that my image now um, fills this this uh, modal up quite nicely. If I I can check some of my other uh, my other uh, images out. They all look pretty good. Some of the longer images may not look that great, like this one. Um, it makes it scrollable, but that's fine. The image is big. I mean, you guys can do some more CSS if you'd like to make that look nicer. But um, yeah, I think for the most part, for most of these products, it's going to look just fine. Um, so I'm going to leave it at 90%. Um, so that's one thing. The other thing that I noticed is. Um, right here this quantity and this is kind of breaking weird there so just to fix that in the details modal um, let's scroll down to where our form is right there and here's our size and if you notice that our quantity is right above our size so we got that div right there and then this div I'm just gonna add two break tags right there there's probably a better way to do that but that's the way I'm gonna fix it and it looks okay like that so that's what I'm that's how I managed to fix that um, so now our image looks a lot nicer um, and if we everything's um, oh the other thing I want to do is see how this is just a text field uh, let's go ahead and make that a number field and so we can just change this text right here to uh, oops, number okay if I refresh, now when I hover over these little arrows come up and I can enter my quantities by clicking there. Now I don't want to put negative numbers here, so what we can do there is add an attribute here in this input. So I'm just going to add an attribute right here after name and I'm going to put min equals zero. Okay, and save that. Refresh the page, open this up, and now if I go down, I can't go below zero. So that gives me a minimum of zero product. 
So that's what I want. Um, everything seems to be working here. So that's just fixing three things. Um, you know, just make the modal look a little nicer, size the image a little nicer, and um, you know, um, we fixed the major bug, which was the image being deleted when we edit um, the product. So anyways, I will see you guys in the next video and we are going to get started on uh, our shopping cart and uh, processing credit cards. Um, that will take four to five videos to get through that section. It's our last big section and then after that we just have some small things to wrap up in the project. Um, and we're going to do some things in the left sidebar here and the right sidebar and, and things like that. But for the most part, we'll be able to add products to the um, shopping cart. We'll be able to manipulate our shopping cart. And we'll be able to check out um, and actually see that money goes into our account. So anyhow, I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you have, please comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.